So taking bets is generally a terrible idea, especially when the bet involves going into an abandoned preschool to record footage that may or may not contain creepy haunted dolls. Unfortunately, that's what we're doing in today's video, Cursed Bet. Now, I've seen Annabelle, I've seen Chucky, I've seen a myriad of other mannequin and doll horror movies, so I know I am not going to like this and I'm going to be scared quite a bit. Which is fun, so yeah. Anyway, welcome to Cursed Bet, and here we go. Alrighty, here we go, and welcome to Cursed Bet. And of course, this weird abandoned preschool is in the middle of a goddamn forest. Of course it is. Alrighty, and here we go, welcome to Cursed Bet. And of course, this abandoned preschool is in the middle of a forest. Just, because why not? Why wouldn't we put a preschool in the middle of a dense forest? Oh, this is a terrible idea already. Alright, let's go. What could possibly go wrong? Music's kind of creepy already. Love to see it. Doors are barred, so we're not going in this way. And there just seems to be a lot of trash around here. Okay, so I guess our first objective is to get in to the preschool. Which, I don't know why we'd even want to do that. A puzzle toy, okay. Not going in this way. Alright, so... I guess we need to go around this side? Maybe? I'm not sure what the premise is this, other than we're exploring abandoned buildings and there's... A creepy creature in there somewhere. Ah, we gotta get in there, I think. Question is, how? Ah. Fuse box. Which... Doesn't do anything for us. Okay. Imagine, it's just like, you know, closed off and we can't get in. Oh well, time to go home. I guess that's not the case, though. So how do we get into the abandoned building that we're supposed to explore? Man, wouldn't it be great if we could just leave? Maybe one of the windows is not boarded up? Can't climb the pipe. I figure it'd be something here. Maybe we have to actually climb this or something? Or it must have something to do with the fuse box? I don't know. Yeah, it's just we were given a card and that's it, nothing else. Extremely helpful and useful. Exactly what we would need to uh, figure out this puzzle. Missed opportunity, we can't knock over the bricks. Alright, well I guess we can't do anything. Let's just leave. We can't do that either, okay. Maybe we have to just go around the back. I mean, it looks like, it looks like there's a path around here. Which again, seems like a terrible idea, honestly. Place is probably abandoned for a reason. Aside from being, obviously, in the middle of the fucking woods. So, is there anything back here? We've got a door back here. Okay. Ah, and there's our entrance. So, we need to find the key. There's got to be something around here I'm missing then, because there doesn't seem to be anything around. Oh, wait, what's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? We got a card. We got something. I don't know what, though. Uh, do we have an inventory? A key! The padlock key! Oh, okay, there we go. Right, so now we know where to go. We can just... Go back and do the padlock. I figured it was going to be a code thing to do with all those little puzzle blocks, but I guess not. 
I mean, I really hope there isn't, because if I have to come back and relearn them while being chased by some weird demon creature, I'm not going to be happy, honestly. I'm not here to get, like, absolutely demolished by demon doll things while trying to solve puzzles. I mean, I am. It's the point of horror games. But, uh, let's go in now and see what's happening here. Surely we are not going to get killed in the first 15 minutes of the game. Right? Okay, so, right. Let's get in and see what the story is. Padlock key. Easy peasy. Oh. Music got decidedly sinister. We'd love to see it. There's some stuff over here. What's this? There's an iron bat we can't take. Unfortunate. That is creepy. I don't like it. The chain padlock there we can't do anything about. Fuck it, I guess it's time we go in and suffer the demons that we know we're gonna face. Locked. Or not. I literally thought this was it. I thought we were ready to suffer, but no, apparently it's locked. Jesus, for spooky demons, they really just don't want me to go inside, it would seem. Am I gonna just break the thing? No? Oh, we are just gonna break the thing, okay. Okay, let's, uh... Smash this, then. I can break the glass. Yes, you can. This is a terrible idea. Oh, no. How was that? Why are we even in here, man? This is a terrible idea. It's all very, very dark. These one, two, three keys to dial numbers. Well, we don't have a number, so that's unfortunate. Two. Okay. Rat. So far, I'm not seeing much of a preschool here. Okay. Yeah, I hate it. I hate it. No. Not for me, Chief. It is. Let's turn on some lights. I do not have a fuse, unfortunately. Oh, please tell me I was a. Was there a fuse or something I needed to find? Oh, no. Okay, so I have a feeling I missed something like a fuse, but I'm not sure because I don't think we picked one up anywhere. We we're supposed to take it from outside, maybe? I have no idea. Well, I guess really we don't need it, right? Surely we don't. Oh, wait, we got something here. What's this? Igloo 9. Oh, okay, so it's more of these little puzzle boxes, I guess. The tent is two. Is there anything else around here then? Let's take a look. Ah, okay. We got some arrows on here. Green, yellow, red. Oh, do we have to remember all the things from earlier? Oh, no. Um, yeah, I don't think I, I remember this at all. Do 
This game is really out here gonna make me try and guess. That's great. Okay, so we have to go back and remember the colors then. And we're looking at green, yellow, red. Tent is green, so that's yellow. Or that's green, so maybe there's two at the top. I guess we have to go back and uh, check for other things then, yeah. God, I can't believe we have to do a lot of backtracking this. I didn't think we would need that much. We get another one of these here. Dormitory is six. It's yellow, so yellow is six. Maybe we don't. Maybe we don't. Maybe we don't. Maybe we don't. Well, maybe what I'll do is try yellow six, and then we'll try and brute force it. So I don't want to backtrack for like a million years. So yellow is six. So the last one would be red. Oh, okay. Six nine three apparently. Now we're in the spooky basement. That's not good. I mean, we shouldn't have actually been here in the first place, but... Fuck, okay. Let's uh, keep at then. There's no locked door there. Of course there is. So I guess we gotta go this way. And find something to break that lock. Vacuum cleaner probably won't do it. There's a key that might do it, though. Let's take a look. Why is there so many locked doors in here? That's what I'm wondering. Although this key isn't working, so maybe it's somewhere else it's used? This looks like a padlock. What items do we even have? Let's take a look. We have another padlock key, yeah. So it needs to work on a padlock somewhere. Question is where? Not here, that's for sure. Maybe in this room over here? Nope. So where do we use it then? Huh. Okay, it's probably something we missed down here. Let's take a look around just to be sure. Ah, what are you? Crowbar, okay, maybe that's useful somewhere. Maybe we use it on this door over here. Oh, so the music has suddenly gotten quiet again. I don't like that. Nope. Looks like some doors can be open. Maybe the other door upstairs is the crowbar door then. So many padlocks and crowbars and stuff. Oh my god. So far, we haven't seen any spooky dolls either. I was expecting like there to be at least one scare by now. But I guess uh, it's trying to build up the atmosphere, maybe? I don't know. On here? There we go. <laughs> Terrible idea. Ah, and the padlock key goes here. How many locked doors are in here? Is, is it really this fucked up of a place? Why are we even doing this if it's like such a, a barricaded place? I don't know, I'd have figured with all the... Oh, hey buddy, how's it going? Oh, you're moving. Oh, it's us moving it, I think. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, this is a terrible idea. This is a really bad idea. So now it's out and about. You'd love to see it. Oh no. Oh. Yeah, 
man. Oh shit, you shouldn't have fucking unlocked that door. They just said film the abandoned place. They didn't say fucking let the spooky demon creature out. Okay, let's get the hell out of here, right? Surely this key will work. Take your time, key. Fucking yeah, I'm closing this door. A ladder. Oh, do we have to go up after it? Let's get out of this freaking place. No, let's let's not. Let's let's continue fucking exploring because we're dumbasses. <gasps> Fuck me, man. Okay. Ah, yes, of course. Of course, of course, of course, of course. Yeah, we really should not come here. Me and my big mouth too. I was like, oh, there's no scares. This is gonna be easy. Yeah, I was fucking wrong. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, and like jump scared at me. Oh, hey, buddy. How's it going? This is not freaky at all, holy shit. <sighs> oh, yeah, no, creepy dolls, man. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> Did it just fucking bottle me? Okay. <laughs> I'm just getting terrorized by a doll. Great. Oh, are we dead? Or unconscious even? This is the end of the demo, actually. Probably is, right? This doesn't seem like it's gonna be a really long game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't seem like it was gonna be a really long game, so it makes more sense to end the demo there. Okay. Alrighty, everybody, and that was Cursed Bet, a game where we were stupid enough to go into a kindergarten haunted by a creepy cursed doll, and we got what we fucking deserved. So yeah, uh, the game actually seems good. I like the atmosphere. Uh, the puzzles are very vague, uh, and I genuinely like that, but it just doesn't give any hints whatsoever. Like the fact that we had to just somehow memorize all the random numbers strewn about. If we didn't, good luck. You've just got to backtrack and figure them out or brute force the lock which i did in the end so that was a pain in the ass but other than that it was actually pretty interesting i like the design of it it kind of reminds me of the likes of um child street and all that so i'm looking forward to see what this game actually offers in the full release for now though we're gonna leave it here thank you all so much for watching and as always if you enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like on it subscribe to the channel i appreciate it and i'll see you in the next one till then have a good one